So these are the tools we are going to use today. And this is um, Hitachi WH10TFL power drill. It is a hammer drill. It's 2011, made in Japan. Uh, this one is DS10 DFL Hitachi. It's also 2011, made in Japan. And this one is my brand new DV18 DCL2. It's made in China. It's 2015. And this is a screw we are going to use today. It is self drilling with Torx head. It is 6 by 100 mil. We will use these two pieces of wood. This is um, this is oak. It's dry, it's about two years old and it's really solid. And the other one is um, some softwood, I don't know, I'm sure. But it's dry also. It's dry as well. Okay. So this tool comes with this carton box. It's half inch, 13 mil, 18 volt, Coltress impact driver drill. DV18 DCL2. You can read some specs from the other side. It's made in China. So what's inside? There you get the leaflets, the warranty card, the manual, something no nobody reads, the drill itself, and two batteries, and the charger. Everything is made in China, so the batteries are from China. The drill itself is uh, made in China as well. As I said before, it's 2015. It's probably the first month of 2015. So what I'm what I'm gonna do today, I will try to uh, screw. I will try to check how many screws can I uh, screw with one battery charge. Uh, these are these are quite big screws. It's six by hundred, so I'm guessing it will be like 20, 30, no more of these. It's not so easy to screw them. So I use this tool on uh, 10 centimeter screws already. Uh, it's really awesome. Um, it has 105 newton meters of torque when this has, if I'm not mistaken, 52 or 57 newton meters. So this one, uh, is, this one is almost two times as strong as this one if it comes to the torque. Although it has only a 10.8 volts battery, and yet it is almost twice as powerful. So it's really awesome. Um, I'm gonna check if this tool, the uh, more universal one, can compete with the impact drill, impact hammer. Actually I have two types of screws. Uh, the smaller one is 6mm by 100 and the other one is 8mm by 100. It makes a huge difference in a force required to screw this one, the, the thicker one. So the 
the test will be like this. I'm gonna take this new drill and I'm gonna screw as many screws as I can into the hardwood and then uh, I will swap batteries uh, and try to screw them into the, the softwood and then I will take this older tool and I will compare time need, uh, which is needed for one screw with this and this. So let's go. I'm gonna go from the side, from from this side, because then I'm gonna go through the fibers, uh, not with the fibers. So it will be more it will be more difficult for for the drill to drill into the hardwood. I'm gonna set it on drill, not with a clutch. It's actually not gonna work on high. I will try. We'll have to s switch to low. It's ten. I can feel it's getting weaker. So the motor housing is quite warm now. It's not hot. The battery is slightly warm. You can actually hear the wood cracking. It's a hard wood, so. It has some torque as you can see. So how many do I have now? So 37 if not if I'm not, not mistaken. Let 
we are still on the first battery. difficult to hold it with one hand. It has so much torque. So now the battery is quite warm. Yeah. The engine is much warmer, but it's not hot. Uh, it went through. Yeah. So we have three missed ones. Actually, uh, I kind of ran out of space. So that is it, battery is warm, judging by my perfect scale of warm and hot, it's between warm and hot. The motor housing is maybe 5 degrees warmer than, warmer than the battery, but it's not hot, it's nothing bad. Like hold my hand easily. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the battery and switch to the soft wood. The motor housing is still warm. It's gonna be fine probably. <laughs> I can feel really warm air coming from the vents when the motor is turning. It actually burns my hand. Battery is cold. The motor is quite warm. Right. So it's too weak to go on high. I'm gonna switch to low. Look at that, it has so much torque. Let's see how deep can we go. Yeah, yeah. I lost it. <laughs> okay. yeah, I got it. Okay, 
Want het zak, ik had lus. Sorry guys, I lost this one. It's deep inside. So guys, I'm gonna run out of, this, of screws, so I'm gonna switch to the impact drill and I'm gonna check the speed of that one. I'm gonna check if this drill will go as deep as this one. Yeah, it probably could go, but it's much slower than this. It is the last one. Uh, let's try with this at mill. I will have to swap the bit. It has a lot more torque than this one, the smaller one. It might be because the battery is not as good as new. Just look at this. I can go inside of the soft wood with 8 mil. Well, let's check the, the hard wood as well. It's slipping. Yeah, so this one won't go.
there's something slipping inside. I don't know if it's gearbox or is it the clutch? Yeah. hot so overall it's really torquey but the gearbox is slipping so it might be with the high torque that something is slipping inside the tool so it might be damaged from the factory or maybe it's not built as good as the Japanese one because there is nothing slipping as in this tool it goes really well but has a lot more, a, a lot less torque than this, the new one. So after screwing over a hundred screws, the motor housing is slightly warm. The battery is maybe five degrees over the temperature of air, so it's. It's almost nothing. So this tool is, for the price, is really good. I will see about this the me mechanical problem. Maybe I will consult it with the Hitachi. We will see. housing is quite warm no? oh god now it's hot It's not that hot, I cannot hold it, but it's hot. Maybe 60 degrees, something like that. <laughs> interesting it is slipping on the, the clutch is not engaged and then it's slipping yeah the battery is dead so I'm gonna use this one to finish the job How many do I have unscrewed? So it's over half of them. 
I have 15 left, about 15 left. So I managed to unscrew about 50 of these. It doesn't go. No. It's too deep. So for unscrewing this one is much better because uh, it gets speed when uh, the high torque is not needed, it gets speed. So it's much, much faster. go <coughs> the hardwood is too much for this small tool and this one is still dead Oop. let's see how about this old battery uh, it's turning let's fuck it up No, it doesn't go. I know you, you shouldn't do it. So I will have to charge it up. So let's zoom it up. Batteries are quite good with this tool. I got 65 of six by a hundred mil screws in to the hardwood it is so hard that uh, the small Hitachi impact hammer cannot unscrew them <laughs> so you can imagine um, it's managing the the eight by a hundred as well but there are some faults it is slipping on high torque and when uh, screwing in the, the 8 mil it slipped a couple of times I didn't force it it just slipped and the chuck is not so good it unscrews it, uh, itself a couple of times when unscrewing the screws from the hardwood actually I, I screwed quite quite solid quite well and it did unscrew itself so it's not my fault it is the tool. So let's see if Hitachi will contact me about this fault. If not, I'm gonna contact them. Maybe we'll sort it out and see what is about this chuck. Overall, that this tool is, I would give it seven out of ten. So thanks, bye.